What a beautiful day. A lot of people on the beach having nice time. And here we have a blue spot. All the problem starts from here. We have the current going along the shore. The flags are lined up, taking cautious from this dangerous channel. Here it goes along the shore and turns in. I'm gonna get in and gonna show what happens to someone that loses his grip. The current starts right here where the black flag is. I'm stepping in the water. Immediately, I get the feeling of the current right under my feet. The current is still weak. I'm gonna go back and it's getting deeper. The current moves between two and a half meters a second up to three and a half meters for a second, which means that the best swimmer cannot swim more than half a minute <coughs> against this current. I'm going back and then it's up to my tummy. Now I feel the current around me. I'm gonna put the mask and we'll have a look what happens under. Let's go in. The current is digging a channel along the shore which is very dangerous for kids because in that depth he's gone right away. The current take all the trash it can grab. Clothes, leaves, dirt, glasses, sunglasses, clothing. Whatever you can think of. Now the current is stronger. When it turns in towards the depth, then the channel became wider. The channel began about six to eight meter wide and depth of two, two, two and a half meter. You cannot get any grip there. Now you are floating free. If you are on a deserted beach and you don't have any rescue facilities, you are in big trouble. In such a short time, we are over 100 to 150 meters away from shore. A person that gets to this point is in panic. He cannot swim against this current. He try, he's trying to get to the shore and it doesn't have a lot of time. We can see how far we are from the shore right now. I'm trying to swim in against and I'm still drifting. I'll make a sign to Giddy, the lifeguard, to come and get me. Now we get a strong current from both sides of the way that are draining through this channel. I can see him coming right now. If you don't have the experience to run a boat, in this messy place, you can flip over in a, in a second.
the waves are taking us back, but the current is still under the waves. Now it takes time to pedal back. This is the dark spot that we don't want to find ourselves in it. Come back to the shore and we'll find a high spot to have a look how currents is looking from above. <coughs> the drifting channel starts from this flag goes along the shores and turns in. This is the worst place that you don't want to find yourself in. All the worst strategies happening right here. Another dangerous place around this wave breaking wall. You see this couple right on the edge of this terrible channel that runs like a river. There are irresponsible parents that could, li could leave two, two kids just on the edges of this dangerous place that are nearly being washed into this channel. Unbelievable, shocking. I've never seen any lifeguard that could swim with two kids in his hands in such, such a deep channel. Live on the safe side and have a nice day and come back home safely.